Hi you guys! It is a Wednesday. Yep, it's Wednesday. 4-4. Um, I am driving back to Albuquerque from Santa Fe. And uh, I was with Courtney, but now she's on her way. And I'm on my way. Today we drove separate because we knew we had to split up after we saw this one patient. So, um, yesterday was nuts. Um, we were driving all day, you know, we were in a lot of very rural New Mexico communities. And, um, it was when I, we, I mean, I was up at like 4.30, you know, we were, I think we got out of town around 5-ish. And it was dark outside, you know. <laughs> and we were like the only ones on the interstate, which is odd because that usually doesn't happen. You know, there's there's cars on the interstate. But um, I think that because we were getting these winter weather warnings and stuff that people stayed, uh, stayed in a little bit. Schools had two-hour delays and stuff like that. And, um, we, in our travels, it, we had... Um, Rain, heavy snow, sleet. I didn't really see any hail, but you know, it's not uncommon in New Mexico in the desert. But I turned to Courtney because she's like, I don't know how you could see. And she's holding her arms like this, blocking her eyes. And I'm like, what the heck? And she goes, I can't see through all this snow. Um, because as you can imagine, it was dark outside, and the only light that was. Um, you know, out there was the headlights shining on the snow, which looked like it was headed right for the windshield, you know, and you're just like, whoa! <laughs> but, uh, I have a lot of issues with vertigo and stuff. Um, so I've learned that if I drive, uh, I don't have as many issues. And also, if I'm able to focus on something, um, like, the line on the road <laughs> that I can, you know, just get through it. And so I was pushing forward and she was, she would have called it quits if she was driving. So we, we got through it and, um, I had no idea that, that there were tornadoes in, um, Texas until much later in the night uh, because I was, you know, driving all day and we were talking, we weren't listening to the radio and, um, you know, I, I saw on like Facebook, everyone's like, I, I get it on my phone. So, you know, you're just like, oh, it looks like the weather's bad, but I had no idea. When I saw the videos that night, I was surprised. And when they said there was six to 12 um, tornadoes, wow, that's scary. Um, yeah, I feel bad for people that lose their homes that way. That's awful. Um, and their lives, you know, that's just, that's just horrible. We, uh, you know, I, I live down in California. It's kind of split my time between the West Coast and New Mexico. And the, uh, when I lived out, you know, in California, we had earthquakes. We had mudslides. We had, you know, floods and you know, stuff like that. But uh, in New Mexico, we don't really... There, there can be flash floods, um, but we don't really have a lot of weather issues that, um, you know, total destruction kind of stuff. There was a tornado I remember quite a few years ago that touched down, but, you know, really didn't do much damage. Um, but gosh, incredible the number of tornadoes and the magnitude it was just incredible and the videos that they had um, that they were showing on the news wow that was something else and I saw um, Van uh, her little clip at work and then I saw um, Jason's you know showing the hail and stuff that hail hurts oh, that's what I'm talking about wow I've been in a hail storm before and it, it hits you and it's you get a welt. I mean, it's not like a little, you know, it hurts. <laughs> but, uh, 
But uh, yeah, crazy weather. And today, oh my gosh, you guys, today is the most awesome day ever. It's clear, the mountains have a little bit of snow on them, and it's just, just incredible. So earlier today when I was driving to Santa Fe, uh, this is Holy Week, so uh, there's a pilgrimage that's done in New Mexico. They go to Chimayo, uh, to the Santuario in Chimayo, and people travel from all over the place. So the pilgrimage has started. Today's Wednesday, and uh, all during Holy Week, you see people walking. We, I saw one guy just outside of Albuquerque. Well, he was between Albuquerque and Santa Fe, I would say, kind of midpoint. And he was carrying a cross, a big cross. And then we saw a lot of people with backpacks along the side of the road, probably about 10. But tomorrow, Wednesday, or Thursday and Friday, big time on Friday, you see mobs of people just walking on the side of the road and um, so the people who come the furthest have to start earlier obviously um, some people drive to Santa Fe and walk from Santa Fe to Chimayo uh, my sister my oldest sister my youngest sister have both done um, the pilgrimage before and uh, you know nephew and a couple of others but you know uh, with some families it's what they do every year. One of my patients, uh, his family does it, and he is not really able to do it so much. I mean, he had one of his lungs removed, so he does what he can. He'll get out and he'll walk a little ways and stuff, but this year I know his wife and his boys were going to do it, and, and uh, they left, they're leaving tomorrow morning, um, so that they're not in the big crowds of people, uh, because, you know, if he has an emergency, he's got to get out of there. So they'll, they'll go a day early. But I've, I've never done the pilgrimage, but I've been to the little chapel. And you walk into this little chapel and there is, the soil is, they say has healing properties to it. Kind of like the water in the Lourdes. And um, what was I going to say about that? So people go to this place and then they leave their crutches and supposedly walk out of there and there are crutches and all kinds of stuff all over that place like all over anyway <laughs> so that's going on now um, we are having Easter at my house one of my sisters is making ham and then we'll all just have a dish kind of potluck style that works best for us and, um, oh, my mom went to a sleep study last night, to a sleep study clinic, where they put a, a BiPAP on her, which is, there's either a BiPAP or a CPAP, which helps you breathe at night, because she has sleep apnea so bad. <laughs> Excuse me. And so she had that last night, and when she came home this morning, she said, you know, I feel good. So it sounded like it worked for her, you know, that's good, 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 good. So I suppose they'll be ordering that for her and she'll be doing that soon. She is on oxygen at night right now, um, but uh, you know, it's, she's doing well though. My mom is a strong lady. Uh, what else do I get to tell you? I miss Jewel so much. So. We used to get Jewel after school, and then her mom would pick her up, and now we don't because her mom doesn't, uh, I think I told you her boss had a stroke and then they shut down their business and so she doesn't have a job right now. Although she's doing some odd and end, end, odd and end stuff, that sounds weird. Anyway, I can't talk. Um, odds and ends, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Anyway. Uh, so she picks up Jewel every day, and I'm like, I miss her. I see her on Fridays for Girl Scouts, but... So it's a beautiful day today. I'm probably rambling on now, but just kind of checking in. I will talk to you guys later. Bye!